Should I just do this video as if I haven't been missing for two months? Ah, I don't know. But anyway, I still have a number of unopened personal purchases. So even if I did want to abandon this channel, I couldn't because I've still got more to do. However, the lovely people over there at ICS has sent me another box. It's like I keep trying to leave, but the world of Airsoft and YouTube keeps calling me back. Well, not so much YouTube. Now, it's quite funny because there's been a few companies that noticed that I've been AWOL for a couple of months and have not bothered to send me anything. They didn't believe in us. ICS did. This is another Airsoft mic production. Right, so here we go, people. Thank you so much to ICS. They've been very patient with me. They've been wanting to send me this over three months ago and I said don't bother I don't even know if I'm going to be doing any more unboxings but then I had a change of heart they've been so good to me they've sent me so many products and here is another one thanks again ICS okay here goes oh <laughs> look at that put to the test still the best baby Lighter, stronger, better. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh yes! Somebody's now acquired the licensing for Daniel Defense. Come on! First of all, I've got to say, loving the whole new look here. I mean, look at it. It doesn't even say ICS on the front. Apart from on the actual uh, markings on this bit here. Wait, wait a minute. I can't even see ICS on the piece itself, look. It's got Daniel Defense, it's got everything, but... Hold on, are you sure this is ICS? Oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> it's, it's on here, and I think it's on the... Oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Good, and yeah, it's right here on the top two. Aishi Shivan, I think that's what that says. Anyway, let's go. Ooh, I love the smell of a new airsoft box. <laughs> right, what have you got? Okay, so you got the ICS catalog, as per usual. Um, you've got the little ICS product card with the instruction manual and all the QR codes for their socials. Okay, right, and we also have an official looking Daniel Defense um, little solid plastic card thing. You have your instruction manuals. One appears to be, oh no, okay, that's English too. Good. So one to do with the triple S three E trigger and then you've got your other uh, general manual. Okay, there's more goodies before we get to the main piece itself. What's this? Oh, I like it. It's looking like you're getting some master mods. Upgrade bits. And there's also this. Nice, we'll look into that a little later. But there's more. But we have to take off the top foam bit first. So here goes the reveal. They gave me a choice of colours. I said for once, can I go with something else other than black? Can I have a nice little grey model? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, look at that baby. And mate, it seems to be packed ram full of master mods. Uh, extras, upgrades. Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting that. But look at this baby. Do you know what? Let me just get it all out. I'll be right back. Oh, would you look at this beauty? Okay, so this particular one I've got right here is the uh, Tornado Grey version. It comes in other colour schemes, but I asked for this and I'm so glad I've got it. I'm loving how it contrasts against like that beautiful, gorgeous grip. And look at the stock. I, I, hold on. Nice. Now, as always, when it comes to ICS products, they always give you a fuse or two. So yeah, there's your couple of fuses and a nice little adapter, just in case you need one, a Dean's plug. Right now, so apart from a cleaning and unjamming rod, you have a 120 round mid cap bag. Right, stop, press, stop, press. Ha. 
I went back and quickly checked the email that the marketing manager sent to me. And the marketing manager clearly told me what these were for and I just forgot. So <laughs> these have nothing to do with the bad boy behind, okay? What it is, I already have a challenger from ICS and they asked me, would you like to get the upgraded parts and bits and bobs and do a video for that? So there will be a separate video of me installing these bad boys in the ICS challenger. Right, be gone. <laughs> okay, that's the challenger. Other airsoft brands, they ain't believe in us. ICS did. So before we get into all the technical stuff, let's have a look at these lovely markings. So, uh, and actually let's also look at the design element of this too. So let's start at the stock. Gorgeous stock, multiple places to put a sling. Of course, you've got your QD sling point right there. You've got a very nice rubberized grippy butt stock. You've got the uh, EMG logo right there. I might as well show you how to get in there to put your battery pack in. You simply pull and twist. And then you are presented with, as you would come to expect on a high-end AEG, a cable with a Dean's plug on there. Now, if you've got a battery pack, a LiPo, that doesn't have a Dean's connection on there, not to worry, you can pick these bad boys up all over the place, they're only about a couple of quid. Now, if you don't know what a quid is, it's like saying a buck, a dollar, okay? And look, it converts your Dean's to your Tamiya. Nice. And then can we take the time to appreciate this gorgeous cheek rest? It is rubberized, naturally replicated on the other side, but look closer, very cool. It's actually got the EMG logo incorporated within that pattern. Very good. Like it. Likes it a lot. Tell you what, as we're here, might as well pop the old battery pack in. It's on safe. Nice. And there's plenty of room. In fact, there's room for nunchuck style battery packs in here. Or the type that I'm doing now, this uh, nice little compact stick one. Right, we've got the battery pack in, let's just, uh, yeah, we will check that it works, it's fine, we've got all these different positions here, nice. Now, um, it's still on safe, as I said, we will check, do you know what, I can't wait, let's just check right now, in a safe direction. Oh, nice and sensitive. Come on! Oh, that's that triple S system right there. Nice, look. You've got three round burst when you just flick it. Very nice. But then if you hold it, come on. Ooh, spring tension release. I wouldn't expect anything less from ICS. <laughs> Those rhymes, man. <laughs> they ain't believe in us. ICS, dear. Right, so as we move down, let's say, no, actually, here, look. Remember, we are still checking out the markings. So apart from the markings, as you can see there, you've got ICS Airsoft tucked away right there on another set of rare sling points. That is metal. By the way, the whole platform is metal, apart from, you know, elements of the stock and things like that. But yeah, nice. I'm hoping by now you can appreciate the uh, contrast between this tornado gray and the actual black elements of this piece. So, as you're looking at it from this angle, let me just show you, you've got this very nice ambidextrous charging handle. You've got your selector switch right there. We'll come back to that later. And you have your MK markings right there, MK18. You have that, you know what that is, don't you? <laughs> don't worry, we will be taking off these unsightly stickers imminently. And then of course down here, you have your Daniel defense markings right there. You've got your Black Creek GA Georgia. And then there's your serial number and all the other lovely stuff right there. Basically, USA. And then right down there on the trigger guard, you've got more markings there, basically telling you this bad boy was made in Taiwan, manufactured by ICS. And it's a six millimeter BB caliber. I tell you what, let's have a closer look at the charging handle and this rear sight. So as I said before, nice and ambidextrous, you can get to it from either side. Very nice, there's your rear sight, you've got your two different sight pictures if you manipulate this. I'll do that in a moment once I've got it deployed. And if you look carefully, there's more markings. Look, it says CXP, even though it's upside down because of how I'm holding it. But yeah, 
And as you can see there, you've got your markings there where you can adjust for your windage. When it's not deployed, you've got your rear sight just there. Very nice. And of course, when you pull the bad boy up, the other peephole sight comes into play. And even on top of that, you've got a little groove there so you can use that also. <laughs> nice. And like I said before, you can adjust for windage. Right, we might as well have a quick butchers on the front sight. And as you can see, they're moving. You can see your front sight post right there, which is adjustable. Look, there's a wheel just there. And look, right there is another front sight post for when it's not deployed, just like your rear sight. And as you can see there again, that wheel, that right there will adjust that front sight post for elevation. Right, now we move to this gorgeous Daniel Defense handguard. You've got all your markings right there. And let me lay this bad boy down. If you love a marking, you're gonna love this bad boy. Look at all of that there and down there, come on. Love it, love it, love it. All of what you would expect to see on a DD. <laughs> and of course you've got your rail segment markings there too, very nice. Again, like I said, it's all metal. Right, stand up. Can we please take the time to appreciate this awesome looking grip? Come on. It's got a beautiful wrap around rubberized section there. And again, if you move in, you can probably see it now anyway, what with 4K. But if you move it anyway, 4K, I keep rhyming. <laughs> I didn't believe in us. ICS did. Right, as I said, moving into this grip, you can see once again, it's got the EMG logo incorporated in there. Now, before we go to the other side of this bad boy, let's get back to this right here. So as I showed you earlier, when you put it in semi, yeah, nice and sensitive, very nice uh, response we've got on there. And what I like, it's quite firm here as well. It's quite firm, it's not loose at all. And of course, if you bring it to a certain point, Bob's your uncle. However, when I showed you this, that three burst system, you can actually turn that off. So it just functions as a standard, read all about it, standard full auto mode. And to do that, all you got to do, put it on semi, make sure it's in a safe direction because it will let off one, okay, dry of course, um, and just hold the trigger. Wait for the noise. Do you hear that? <laughs> it sounded like a bit of flatulence, but anyway, <laughs> once you hear that, we are now good to go on normal full auto. Here, look. Come on. And even if I flick it, you're just going to get singles because it's normal mode. Now, if you're thinking, hold on a minute, I prefer it the other way. I prefer that three round burst. Well, it's as simple as this. Just repeating the step again, put it back on semi, long hold. It's about five seconds. You'll hear a little. Oh, that's two. So that's two sets of flatulence. Sorry, that's two sets of noises you get, which means it's back into its smart system mode, okay? So if I put it back there on full auto, you can flip that bad boy and it goes back into three round burst. Come on! Oh. And another cool thing about this bad boy, it has a pre-cocking mode. Yes, sir! It will memorize the position of the piston. Come on! Pre-cocking? Now, if the pre-cocking feature isn't your thing, I mean, why wouldn't it be? But if it isn't your thing, you can deactivate it. All you're gonna do is put it on semi, and at the same time, switch the selector switch between semi and auto three times within five seconds rapidly, and it will deactivate it. Why would you wanna deactivate it? Oh, oh, would you look at this baby? Do you wanna have a look on the other side? All right then. Oh, she looks handsome. Hey, <laughs> so let's zoom straight in to the heart of this piece. On your full metal mock bolt, you've got your DD on there, Daniel Defense, very nice. Of course, you've got your dust cover, which is released when you pull that charging handle. And that's not it, as if you didn't know already, because it literally says it right there. It's got blowback action, baby. And look, there's your hop-up adjustment. And as I said, it's blowback, baby. Come on. Now, you know me, I keep it real with you, okay? It doesn't matter if I've bought something 
or it's been sent to me as a freebie, as a sample, to show to you, as much as I love ICS and certain companies that have my back, I'm gonna keep it real with you, man. I will not lie. I will tell you if there's something I don't like about this. And I found it already, and I knew it because it's pretty much the same with all electric blowbacks, which is why gas blowbacks will always reign supreme. In full auto mode, that electric blowback is awesome. But if you put this bad boy on semi, watch what happens. The mock bolt kind of becomes lazy. Look, it doesn't want to close properly, watch. Semi, look, stays open. What's that all about? Yeah, that's meh. The only time this works brilliantly is when it's in full auto mode. Flawless. Nice. And then of course on this side, you've got your mock forward assist and your mag release. Right at the front of this bad boy, right there, metal flash hider and there's a little grub screw, you can whip that off and it's a 14 millimeter counterclockwise thread. And then right here, as you can see, you've got your quick access to the motor, very nice indeed. Right. I'm gonna get this bad boy ready and we're gonna do a chrono and accuracy test. And later on, I'll show you the split gearbox very quickly. Right, mag is full. I just used a speed loader. Let's get it in. Still on safe, good. Nice. Mate, mate, you can't just say this is just another mic for, come on. This looks absolutely awesome. Um, that stock is really giving me good vibes and this grip, nice and comfortable, nice and grippy. It's got a bit of heft to it though. It's not the lightest of platforms. I mean, it is full metal, uh, CNC'd up here, very nice. Um, yeah, and although this is a very standard looking mag, it is compatible with others. Right, here we go. As I said, we're gonna do a chrono test, then we're gonna do an accuracy test. As you can see there, it says ICS MK18. I'll be using those three top targets for today's accuracy test for their, for their full auto on the third one. And I'll just show you on the top that this is the AEG sheet. So the next time I unbox an AEG, I'll go to line two. Right, singles first. Let's try a bit of full auto. And by the way, if you want a bit more power, or if you want to lower the power, it's got a quick change spring system in there. Stand by. Full auto, baby. Oh! Loving that the FPS kind of stayed up in that same ballpark. And then we're looking at 20 BBs per second. Come on. My gosh, it's as if when I showed this MK18 from ICS, DD, Daniel Defense, um, it's as if when I showed this MK18 to the target system, it's as if it said, I'ma eat it. Ah! That is some serious results right there. Very good indeed. Okay, take into consideration, you should know this by now. I, I have to keep explaining it. I can only go back so far, okay? Um, so you would expect very good results. And of course, factor in human error. Look at that, look at that. How many perfects for that one? Perfect, perfect. Okay, and I can see why, because yeah, we've got one right on point right there. One right on the edge, I believe, yeah. Uh, another one just down there, yep. Yeah. But then that one down there. And then as we move along here, how many perfects for that one, please? Perfect. One? 
Okay, but come on, the groupings is absolute, just like that one, the groupings is amazeballs. So the perfect I got was one just hit on the target there, I think, yeah? And the others just basically kissing the edge, and again, one down there. And then the ICS MK18 basically had that for dinner. Nice. <laughs> yeah, okay. And look, I love it, it's spent every single BB, nothing dribbled out the bottom. Ooh. Anyway, nothing dropped out the, the magwell there. All right, people, it goes without saying, I am very, very impressed. However, Houston, we have a problem. Listen, have you noticed I've got a different mag here? I've got the ICST mag here, because guess what? You see the supplied mag that it comes with? It's nice, it's metal, nice and firm, no rattling or anything. The fit of this bad boy inside of this bad boy isn't the best, okay? I found that the ICS T-Mag fit way better and work flawlessly. Whereas this bad boy, if you tug on it without even pressing the uh, mag release, it doesn't come out, but it moves a lot and then you get some misfeeding going on. I didn't get that with the ICS T-Mag. So consider that if you're going to get one of these bad boys, if you're going to get extra mags, which you would do anyway, because you just get the one, um, consider other mags. Like I said, the ICST mag, flawless. Now, before I go, it wouldn't be an ICS platform if it couldn't do this. <laughs> Beautiful. So there it is, the ICS famous split gearbox. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. And look, you can even see the spring right there because it's got a quick change spring system. Right, so there you go, people. Just before I go, I haven't forgotten, you know, I did take a little time away from the channel and everything. Um, for everyone that's bought one of my patches, there's gonna be a giveaway for you very soon. I should have done it already, but as you know, I disappeared for a bit. Um, yeah, so don't worry about that. There are new versions of the patches out now. It's got a nice sort of um, camo green sort of effect to it. Just head over to a link in the description. Now, this bad boy isn't out yet. It's a pre-order on a lot of places and uh, it's not that cheap either. Anyway. Thanks for watching, I absolutely love this platform. I just don't like the mag it's supplied with. Apart from that, everything else is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at the stock, the grip, the overall finish. Oh, oh, and the old Delta Delta. <laughs> Daniel Defense, the MK18 from ICS. Thank you very much, ICS. Thank you so much for sending this to me, even though I kind of did disappear for a while. One or two others, like I said before, airsoft manufacturers decided not to send me something because I disappeared for two months. They ain't believing us. ICS did.